to my channel. Today is Sunday, April 5th. I'm under a whole bunch of blankets because it snowed last night. I am so over the snow, it's ridiculous. Ready for spring, ready for warm weather, but it's just not happening. So today I thought that I would do a Sunday vlog. I'm going to be cooking tonight. Um, I wanted to show you guys a recipe that I'm going to be making. Sorry, the dog is like sniffing around me. Say hi. <laughs> um, I was watching Kristen Step. I'll link her channel below. Um, I watch her, you know, what's for dinner videos, and she made this cracked chicken and rice soup kind of thing. So I thought I'd make that tonight. I think I have everything for it except for ranch packets, so I'm gonna have to see. Grayson's drinking the rest of the whipped cream that was in my frappuccino. Grayson got up. I went to bed about one because I could not sleep. Grayson woke up at five, so Jared went and got me a, some coffee or a frappuccino, got me a green tea frappuccino um, because I am so tired. But I figured I would take you guys along for the day. I need to do some cleaning. We did some rearranging yesterday, so I wanted to show you guys. So yeah, we're gonna take you guys along on this day. So I got that cleaned up and as you guys saw from the clips, we rearranged our room. I like rearranging because one, I like things to look different and two, it's the best way to clean because you can clean under it or you know like under everything and let me tell you guys, there was so much crap underneath my bed, it was ridiculous. Um, my bed frame is solid wood and it's very, very heavy so Jared literally had to like lift it up and put it like this was on the ground and the end of the bed was up in the air. It was heavy, it was scary. <laughs> But we moved things around. There wasn't enough room, obviously, from here to here. Um, I think it's like, the bed, the headboard is like 81 inches, and then like with the both nightstands, we measured it from here to there, where it was before. Um, was about like 140 inches. So we can only have one nightstand, but that was fine. So we put Jared's here, kept the dresser there, because I moved it, well, I don't even think I showed you guys, but I moved that there the other day. Let me put the TV there. I basically just wanted both the windows open because I wanted the natural sunlight in here this summer and everything. So we moved all that. Freaking snowed again. Look at this. Our backyard is horrible, guys. This is being teared down. Building a pergola. So that'll be a fun video to film. And we're going to do a spice garden back there. But yeah, got all that cleaned. And I wanted to show you guys what Jared did. It's not like the most exciting thing, I'm sure, to everybody. But I was really happy he did it. So, I'm constantly complaining about my cords being too short and everything, so he screwed this extension cord um, thing into the headboard. It's not bad or anything. It wasn't like a big hole, so I was really happy about that. So, but we decided um, when Maddie moves out, Grayson's probably going to go in Maddie's room, and Cody's going to have the big room until he moves out. So, we're going to give Cody this be uh, bed frame and bed, 
and we're gonna get a queen size bed because it's just too small in here. We're never moving again, so we figured we would get a different one. There's Samuel. Ooh. All right, on to the next thing. So, I look like a hot mess. Who cares? I've been eating dairy again. You can so freaking tell. I'm having the hardest time, guys, because when it, that is my toothbrush. Oh my God, this kid finds no. everything. No, um, no, oh my God, this is a temper tantrum. Sorry, it's dark. Um, no video games, just the chapstick. You have to earn the video game. Um, I'm having a really hard time when it comes time for the time of the month. I overeat. I ate so much the last two days. Here's daddy. He's mad because I took away chapstick he was eating and then he went in and he was eating off of my toothbrush. So. I, <laughs> that's what I get. You always put, oh! You should have just seen the face he gave me. It was like he was sticking his tongue out at me. Oh yeah, guys, I have a question for you. Do you like eggs? She's being weird again. So anyway. Call me down below if you like eggs. Grayson has become very temperamental. There has been there have been two crows in our yard all day. Where's Max? Right there. Max, come here. Is there a friend out there? Friend? There's food out there. Go get him. Go get the crow. Oh. Hey, well, want a free shutterfly? Oh, cool. Oh, awesome. Anyway. I am not being mean. <laughs> He babies Grace and so on. it's so funny. So fun little side story. Jared was the one to sleep train Maddie and Cody because I couldn't do it because I felt so bad for them. Well, Grayson, <laughs> when we were living in our old apartment, one day Jared told me to put Grayson down for a nap and that he would be fine. So he started crying. I started getting upset. I left and went to the store because I just couldn't do the crying. And then... I come home and literally five tennis minutes into Grace and Crying, Jared brought him out. Because he felt bad for him. Daddy like this kid, he babies Grayson so much, it's ridiculous. I just made the bed. It looks better messy. I got all your pillows washed. No, Cody, I don't want you playing on there too. This is what they do. Every time I clean a room, they all come in here. So I realized something today. I have in my closet a box light that I've never used or opened. So I think I'm going to open it and see what it looks like. And that's blurry as hell. So excuse that. Put it on. It's not letting me adjust. That's annoying. She's not adopted. Oh, look at I cut it. What? Hopefully that wasn't important. Oh my! He's looking at the box light. I've never opened it. Why'd you get this? For better lighting for videos. Like makeup tutorials. Hi, Jay Chase! <laughs> my kitchen is a mess, you guys. I have to clean it today. We've kind of been lazy this morning. But it's only 10, so that's fine. Um, go clean up your room. Okay, that's easy. I don't have time. What else is in oh, here? Oh, yeah, guys, guess what? Ah! So, here's what? a funny oh, yeah, story. There's a, Jared, there's instructions. Ah! Guys, here's a funny story. So, yesterday, God, it was instructions. Saturday, right? I said to Siri, what time is it? She said, it is Sunday. Yes, it is Sunday. Maybe you ah! yeah, ask her at 12. Oh, no, Grace, and don't yeah, turn off here. the alarm. Mommy, yeah, I did ask her. So well. clean. Wait, no, I asked her at like 11. Mommy, still clean. Don't touch your hair. Touch your hair. This is going. Okay. Oh, this. Where did you put syrup on your eggs? No. Yes. It goes over it. I think. I don't know. You have to read the instructions. He's my instruction boy. He reads everything for me and tells me how to work it. Man. Oh, look, you got some Prada. <laughs> Luisha. Or so, I don't know. If anybody knows the proper way to pronounce that company, let me know. I apologize. Actually, Mom, what was this do? 
Six oh, look at that. pounds. I think that's like to carry everything. It Why is. would you carry everything? Would because you, you use this stuff to, to take professional photos, but... Can, do you carry it room to room? No, if I go somewhere. Yeah. You got problems? Give me a call. <laughs> Yeah. Do we want to tell my viewers our little trip plans we're going to do next year? Okay. So I think I told you guys we were going to go to Disney World next year, but we uh, decided, I think like what, Friday night? Thursday or Friday night? Uh, we're going to go to Salem, Massachusetts instead. So really excited about that. We're going to see like where the Salem Witch Trials happen and where like all the Hocus Pocus stuff is at. And we're also going to drive instead of fly. So that's gonna be fun. So definitely going to be filming that, taking you guys with us. But I gotta take a break before I go to the next thing. So you're going to stop recording. So I wanted to tell you guys, um, our Walmart, we're near like a couple of them, but the one that we go to near about 13, 14 minutes from our house. Yesterday, three employees were diagnosed. Well, they were, it was confirmed cases of uh, COVID-19 and now they have 30 employees um, in quarantine. So 
Yes, I understand that since we shopped there, there was a risk that we were gonna get it. Everywhere people are going right now, the gas station, going to your mailbox if you live in an apartment complex, and you know, everywhere you go, you could risk getting this. But it was at the, gro the grocery pickup thing. I have not done the grocery pickup since three weeks before all this started happening. Um, I just stopped doing it. I just don't like it anymore. I'd rather go in and get my groceries. If it was a small amount, yeah, I'm probably gonna do it. But I haven't done it, so I'm praying for those people. But it's just, it's only going to get worse before it gets better. We were to April 30th or April, I can't remember if it was April 27th or April 30th that we were in like quarantine at home and everything, like the stay at home and everything, um, like the social distancing. But President Trump extended it to the end of May, I believe, or the end of April. And then our governor said on a post that most likely he's going to extend the stay at home um, thing that's going on. So the boys are not having their regular birthday parties. Um, we're going to have portal birthdays. Basically, if you guys don't know what it is, the portal, the Facebook portal. Um, my in-laws got one for each of us. So that's how we've been communicating, how the kids have been like talking to their grandparents and everything. And... Um... So we're gonna do that. Everybody's gonna have their own cake at their house. They've all been sending gifts here for Cody and Grayson. So I'm really excited about Grayson's uh, present from my in-laws. They usually get the big gift for the kids. Um, that's just what grandparents do, <laughs> or at least my kids is. And so they got Grayson a tablet and it's like the fire one. I'll have to look it up which one it is, but I think my nephew has one too, but it's got like this destructive proof case and everything. And it's gonna be so nice for road trips and like with, if Silverwood opens this year um, because of like um, the coronavirus and everything, if they even open up the theme park, but it'll be nice to like have them be able to do that and then the road trip. And then it'll be nice for like educational things because Grayson is very smart. He's at four word sentences and he's not even two yet, which maybe other kids are more far progressed than that. But Madison and Cody were not like that. Um, so, and he can count to five. He knows a lot of different things. He's just, but so it's going to really help with him, like with educational apps and everything. So I'm really excited about that. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Okay, It's that time for Fortnite. Let's talk about Fortnite. You guys, I had dairy yesterday in my face. It's just horrible. I don't, oh, I need to get back on that. Oh, something I really wanted to talk to you guys about. I did a poll on Instagram or like a question thing and I have lost some weight. I've gained a couple of it back because I've been really bad about what I've been eating lately. I've not been on track, but I have been losing some weight. So I thought about doing a video on ways that I've been losing weight. I've lost about 14 pounds. Um, well, I lost about 17. I've gained about three back. So about 14, 15 pounds. And so I thought about sharing that with you guys because it's something that I'm really proud of. But let me know if you guys are interested in that. But anyway, I'm just going to rest and hang out for a little bit. See where the rest of the day, day takes us. And then I will catch up with you guys here in a little bit. We might be able to help you find it. What? So I wanted to show you guys something I did. I'm trying to be quiet because Grayson's sleeping. But we had this like rolling tea cart that was my grandmother's and I put it here in the kitchen because I'm trying to like distract Grayson from like touching the dog's food and water dish. So I moved those downstairs and it also had like, it also had all the like chemicals like cleaning supplies that I had downstairs and like laundry soap and everything. Grayson's become curious so I moved everything and I'll show you where I put all that. But I put this here and I want to know your guys' opinion. So he followed me and this is where I put it. I put the toaster there because the kids use it every day. We've got potatoes. Jared put his helmet down there. But I put my little mason jars from um, Costco here. So what do you guys think? There's enough room to walk through. So what do you guys think of that being there? I'll show you guys what we did in the basement. And if my lips look like really shiny, I just went through my makeup to throw some stuff away and I found like the... Uh, the Too Faced lip injection lip gloss. I was seeing if it was still good and it is obviously. So I'll show you guys what I did down. So it's a huge mess in here right now, but we have this baker's rack for my grandma. So I basically just put like laundry soap and stuff in here. And you guys, the other day I went to Walmart to get groceries. I found hand sanitizer finally. <laughs> but 
we put the dog and cat food in here. So the dog's food's here now. The cat stuff has always been on top of the deep freeze just because of the dog. Um, and I put most of the chemicals up there. This is stuff I'm getting rid of. I'm gonna have a yard sale, so I got my redone baking that we get rid of. But yeah, it's kind of what we did and did some organizing. Not the most exciting thing, but <laughs> kind of been trying to like move things around and I'm gonna be here for the rest of my life, so I'm trying to like make it like make sense for me. And I know over time I'll like find things, so this is such exciting stuff. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Grayson to wake up and get some more stuff done. All right, I finished cleaning up the kitchen off camera, obviously. I just wanted to get it done really quick. This is like my favorite thing ever when there's no dishes. Got chicken thawing out for dinner. I've got the cast iron seasoning. It's looking a lot better. And he is still sleeping. We can't get him to sleep in his bed, so this is the best right now. So I already started doing everything. I've got the chicken in the Instant Pot. I'm just getting it like cooked so I can shred it and everything. But I'll show you guys what all you need for this cracked chicken and rice soup. Um, I thought it sounded really good, so I'll show you guys. So you'll need the chicken breast, bacon. It says to combine the bacon in it and let it cook together, but I'm just going to cook it up and then like put it on top as like a garnish, I guess. But you'll need one or two cans of cheddar cheese soup. I'm going to look at it. It might just be one, so we'll see. Um, a thing of chicken broth. I already cut up the celery. I just did a cup, you know, a little over a cup. Right now I'm cutting up the carrots. Um, you need one packet of Hinnon Valley Ranch. Jared is getting that right now. Um, I left, I forgot that the other day. And then some sharp cheddar cheese to put on top. So let's get started. Oh, and rice. <laughs> So we're gonna do the cook with me part of the video. Um, it's just a simple recipe. Kristen Stepp did it on her channel. I'll link hers below. Um, she found hers on Pinterest. I went on Pinterest and I found the same recipe. So I'm doing hers and the you know recipe off of Pinterest. So you're gonna need some chicken. I just cooked mine in the Instant Pot so that it was cooked so I could shred it and everything. You'll need one can of cheddar cheese soup, about two thirds cup of um, uncooked white rice, about a cup, I did more, of celery, a little over a cup of carrots. It says five and a half cups of chicken broth, but I don't have enough, so this will have to do. And then a little packet of ranch seasoning. And then you can put bacon in it, but I don't want to cook it in with it. So we're just going to have that on top with some sharp cheddar cheese. So I'm going to combine everything in the pot.
Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Yeah. So this is what it's currently looking like. I knew it was gonna cook down. It's probably gonna be more like a stew or casserole, but it actually is starting to smell really good. So hopefully it tastes really good. It's all steamy now. <laughs> so it definitely turned out to be more like a casserole type thing, but I'm excited. It's really looking good. It smells really good. It's hot. <laughs> um, and it's perfect for this cold day. So I'm just gonna add some bacon and some cheese on top. All right, and there we go. Hopefully everybody likes it. Hi guys, it is the next day. Um, I forgot to do an outro, but I thought I would add in something that I've been wanting to do. I mentioned yesterday that I wanted to update you guys on my weight loss of what's been going on. My kids are fighting every day. It's so much fun here. Um, but I got asked by somebody what I've been eating through all this. I lost about 17, gained about three back um, because I've been off track for about a month now. This whole quarantine thing and us been staying home and not being able to go anywhere, it's just I've been bored and I've been eating, so you know, that's typically the way it goes. So I thought I would show you guys what I eat in a day today. Um, this is what I do when I'm on a track. Um, it varies a little bit, but I try to stick to these things. Um, I'm trying really hard to give up soda again, but I'm probably going to have one later for the caffeine because I don't drink coffee and I've had so much tea. Um, but this is what I do when I'm on track. I try to stick to these things. I try to not have a snack or anything. It kind of just varies. Um, but if I am starting to feel really sick and I need something, I do have hypoglycemia. So if I feel like I need something, I will have a snack. It's usually some, um, like, the Angie's popcorn. I'll have that or some fruit or I'll make, like, a smoothie bowl or a smoothie. Something like that. Just light. I try not to eat um, when I'm on track. Bad things. Today might be a little bit easier for me because there's not really a lot of junk food in the house. So, um, I won't be tempted. But yeah, I'm going to start with breakfast. I do um, intermittent fasting. So, my timer should be going off here in a little bit. But I think I started at like 7 last night. Um, and so, 10 a.m. is when I think I do like a 12 or 13 hour fast. So, 10 a.m. is when I can eat. So, it is now 9.59. So, I'm going to start getting my breakfast ready. I already have had... Um, during the intermittent fasting, you can only have ice water and tea with no cream or sugar. So last night I had some water and I thought, I think I had a cup of tea last night, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm on my second cup of tea right now, so I'm going to finish that while I'm making my breakfast. And then I have my Yeti filled with ice water. So yeah, we're going to get started. So excuse my toddler, he's over here dancing behind me. But this is what I've been having for breakfast when I'm trying to be on track. Like I said, that I haven't been doing this for a while, but this is what I typically try to have. I'm just having some instant oatmeal. Yes, it's better for you if you make it from, you know, the oats and everything, you know, in the container. But this is what I'm having. This is from Trader Joe's. It's just the instant oatmeal and the maple and brown sugar flavor. I'm going to add in some unsweetened almond milk. I'm trying to go back to at least... Um, Giving up some dairy again. I'm not going to go fully dairy free again, but I'm going to add a little bit of that and then some fresh blueberries. All right, so there's my breakfast. I added quite a few blueberries because I really like blueberries in my wheel. But I'm going to eat that, drink my tea, and drink my water, and then I will be taking my vitamins for the day. All right, so these are the vitamins that I take. Um, I take a magnesium for my heart and my anxiety. Vitamin C because of what's been going on right now. Either I'll do this or a packet of emergency. I'm just going to do a pill today. I'm trying these Hello Bello um, multivitamins for women because the other ones I had ran out. I do not like these. I do not recommend these whatsoever. The texture is just off. So I'm going to go to the Ollie ones next. But I'm just trying to finish these ones. And then I take a hair, skin, and nail vitamin. Um, Ollie also has a hair, skin, and nail vitamin. So once these are out, I'm going to go switch to the Ollie ones. Um, and then I'm also going to have a smoothie because the oatmeal wasn't enough. I checked my timer. I did a 16-hour fast yesterday. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to, you know, have a smoothie too. The oatmeal, I just was, you know, one little serving. So I'm still pretty full. Or, excuse me, I'm still pretty hungry. So I don't want to you know, starve myself until lunch. So I'm going to have a small smoothie as well. All right. Smoothie is in here and ready. All right. So it's a little after 12. I'm just having something I've been having a lot lately. I just, um, get some tuna and I do it with a little bit of mayo and 
uh, sweet relish. And then I will have some of these to dip it in. And then I'll also put some on celery. It's really good. Sounds weird, but it's really good. And then I'm also going to have a few crackers with some cheese on them as well. All right, there it all is put together. I know that's weird, but it sounds really good and it is really good. I'm going to have a few pieces of cheese, some of the crackers, and then I am going to have a Sprite and then another water. So that is my lunch for today. I kind of have a bigger lunch so that I usually eat around 12 or 1. And then by the time dinner comes around, you know, between 5 and 6, you know, I'm ready to eat by then. Um, I'm talking pretty quiet because we're still sleeping, but for dinner we're having orange chicken. Everybody else is having regular rice, but I am having rice cauliflower. And then we're also having the broccoli. So I'm going to get this started. Alright, so that's it. Like I said, I did rice cauliflower instead of regular rice. So, looks good and I'm going to dive in and eat with my family.